I mean, it's, it's pretty much a dream come true that female cycling has an event like La Course. You know, to have a, to have a race on the Champs Elysees, uh, you don't get a sporting event that's got more people on the, the side of the streets and cheering, cheering people on. So I think it's a, it's a really big achievement for women's cycling. And obviously, your girls here aren't going to be uh, at the race because of the um, the Commonwealth Games. But you think you've still got a strong team? I think we'll still have a strong team, yeah, because we have Georgia Bronzini, who's one of the fastest sprinters in the world, and uh, she's got some strong support in uh, Lottie Becker and Amelia Farlin and uh, Mayuko Hagiwara from Japan. So I think we're still going to have a strong, strong um, team without our, our Commonwealth athletes. And do you think that it's going to come down to a sprint? Do you think that's the, the foregone conclusion? Uh, not really, no, because Mariana Voss has said that she wants to win that event, and who wouldn't, you know, the first Women's Tour de France event. It's, uh, it's a, probably one of the, the biggest things you can achieve in, in cycling. So I think the fact that Mariana Voss wants to win means that the race will go anyway, because if she doesn't want it to come down to a bunch sprint, she can split it up, and uh, she's got one of the strongest teams also. So I think uh, it's pretty unpredictable. Who else do you think will be uh, key contenders for the race? I think Kirsten Wield, the sprint uh, on the Champs-Élysées should really suit her, her um, powerful style of sprinting, so she'll definitely be one to watch and uh, yeah, just the teammates of Mariana Voss have always got some, some good opportunities given she's the strongest bike rider in the race, um, they've got cards to play. So uh, yeah, I think, I think the favourites would have to be Mariana Voss, Kirsten Wield and Georgia Bronzini of Wiggle Honda. And with uh, the women's tour this year and La Course, do you think the women's cycling is going in the right direction? Oh, absolutely. I mean, in the last couple of years, uh, especially the last six months, women's cycling has gone from strength to strength and it's, uh, it's in a really great place. It's where I always envisage that it would be when I um, started out ten years ago in trying to help develop women's cycling. And to see uh, this event um, come to fruition and actually um, be taking place this year is just a massive achievement for women's cycling.